what's up you guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thank you for hanging out for another Gear Thursday. This time we're going to do Battle of the Clone. Clones, 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 clones. Clone is this infamous overdrive pedal that's very expensive, like a few thousand dollars. Because of that, there's all these clone clones out there. So I took four different clones and we're gonna do some sound comparisons. Now check it out. On the far left, we have the Archer Icon from J Rocket Audio Designs. That's our most expensive pedal here. Runs you about $200. Our next pedal can be found for as little as $20 on Amazon. It's the Golden Horse. And have you ever seen such a beautiful, mythical creature throw an ax like a spear? Well, you will see it if you buy this pedal, and we're gonna listen to it. Next, we have from Electro Harmonics, their Soul Food pedal. Very easy to find used in the uh, $50 to $80 range. And then finally, a companion. When you're trying to throw an ax like a spear, but you like silver instead of gold, it's the Silver Horse. Uh, once again, about a $20 pedal. I'm gonna play the same riffs with the same settings on each pedal, and we're gonna see what we get. All right, first, let's go to the most expensive pedal, and I'm gonna play the same riff through all of them with the same, let's make sure everything's at 12 o'clock. All right, here's my clean tone. Here's the Archer. That has a voice setting, let's just see. That sounds more overdriven. Now let's try them all in more of a clean boost situation. Now these little cheaper pedals definitely aren't getting as loud as the Soul Food or the Archer. So I'm gonna turn them up a little bit more. I'm gonna go bridge pickup. Here's the clean tone. my uh, reverb down a bit. And I can hear a 60 cycle hum going on with the uh, silver horse, but I'm not hearing with the other pedals. All right. Uh, Clean boost single single notes.
right, now let's go for some uh, some real overdrive, real distorted overdrive, crank it up, and hear what we get at a higher volume, higher, higher gain, everything. All right, clean tone. <laughs> some lead guitar tone going to uh, I'm gonna turn everything everything up not the treble but gain and volume <laughs> Like that. I think for twenty bucks, that is surprisingly good. All right, let's go to Soul Food. Yeah, real loud buzz with that one. I don't know if that's a circuit that's going on in there. Um, and just my least favorite, even without the buzz, although the buzz certainly doesn't help. The gain and volume are cranked on each pedal with, oh, I was gonna say this one sounds the most bright, but the treble is to the right a little bit. So everything's cranked with the treble at 12 o'clock. I think this soul food's still gonna be the brightest one. Let's see. <laughs> Definitely the brightest. All right, let's uh let's do soul food versus golden horse. Nice sustain. So I think, fortunately, my experience here alive in this room is that the most expensive pedal does actually react and sound the, the best, the most pleasant to my ears. But I'd say the takeaway is that this $20 Golden Horse has a really nice tone and overdrive. You know, it's almost, you know, definitely overdrive, not distortion, um, maybe not as clear as the Archer, but... 10 times less money, um, you know, who knows if it's uh, the quality, if it's not gonna, you know, last as long, probably won't. It probably has cheaper parts for it to be so cheap. Um, I said cheap a lot. Anyway, it's fun. So thanks again for watching. If there's any uh, comparisons you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. While you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe to Marty Music. We'll see you guys later.